what's up guys hope everybody's doing well and having a great day in this video we're going to take a look at multiple daytime ufo sightings and you guys are in for a treat in this video you want to stick around for the entirety of this video as i've got multiple presentations of daytime ufo sightings that go back about two months i think the earliest one i have is june the 5th some of these that you're going to see are absolutely identical identical daytime ufo sightings by five different people from five different locations that don't know each other that apparently saw the same exact object in the daytime sky pretty cool you want to stick around for that but first here at the website quick look at the schumann resonance and you can see it got rocked here recently lasting little over five hours you can see a very strong spike in the schumann once again lasting for a little over five hours we got 20 down to about 14 and a half so about five and a half hours right now origins un no, nothing going on over here at the planetary K index. That's telling us that the sun is quiet. No geomagnetic activity here on Earth. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Pretty much a carbon copy of what we saw yesterday, about 24 hours ago. A little bit of movement across most of the seismographs at the caldera. Some earthquake activity, localized activity, and some magma intrusion. Overall, about the same as what we saw, though, yesterday. Looking at the Sahara Sahara sand situation making the transatlantic journey across the ocean over here to North America and as long as the skies look like this there shouldn't be any hurricanes anytime in the near future. I want to take you guys now to some of these daytime UFO sightings. We're going to start off with the identical daytime UFOs. Once again these people don't know each other. They shared these observations with me not knowing that other people saw these same exact objects. We're in Bullard, Texas. This video was sent in by Janine R. Video taken July 22nd of 2021. Looks like a white cylinder in broad daylight moving through the sky very quietly. Did not make any sound. And it was very obvious. No mistaking it. Got another sighting here. Different day. These are all very random. July 2nd of 2021. Sent in by Micah from Barrie, Ontario. Looks like the same exact object to a T, same color, moving at about the same speed. Looks like a white cylinder moving through the sky in broad daylight hours. There it goes, and it goes in behind the clouds. Here's another sighting out of Houston, Texas. This goes back to June 5th, sent in by Olympia M. Another white cylinder moving through the sky in broad daylight. And I've also had people share emails with me saying that they saw a white cylinder moving through the sky up in the Pacific Northwest over Oregon, but didn't have time to get the video camera out. But it looks something similar to that or this one here. Yet another white cylinder sent in by Tina M. out of Florence, South Carolina. This footage was taken in July of 2021. Once again, a white cylinder in the daylight sky. This one here has a little steeper incline, but overall it looks like a white cylinder about the same size, maybe 20, 30 feet long, and it's in broad daylight. And again, these people don't know each other and they don't know that they witnessed what appeared to be the same thing in the daytime sky. Here's a still image taken by Angela from July of 2021 out of Germany. That's what she saw driving down the road. Yet again, another white cylinder in broad daylight. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this thing is or if there's multiple white cylinders roaming the globe. And you know, mathematically, there were probably many more people that saw these things in the sky. These were just five examples probably of many, many more. I want to take you guys now up to Anchorage, Alaska. The photos you're about to see are once again from broad daylight in July of 2021 out of Anchorage, Alaska, sent in by Mom the Ruler. These were taken from inside the car out of an open sunroof in the roof of the car. And you can see right here what she saw as she was driving down the road. Looks like some sort of a disc was moving through the sky, leaving an impression in the clouds. Right there, you can see the disc. Pretty obvious. That's why she took the photo. She saw this thing in the sky, and it was moving. You can see there's a trail that goes through the sky behind the round disc, or almost oval-shaped. Here's a closer look at it as I zoom in on the same image, and then I enhance them just a little bit to try to pull it forward even more, and you can clearly see why she took the photos. There was something up there in the sky at this time as she was driving down the road. Here it is at a slightly different angle. Pretty obvious there's something up there that, that had a very strong round feature to it moving through the clouds, and the clouds were revealing the presence of this object in the sky above Anchorage, Alaska, 
just a few days ago in July of 2021. Great photos by Mom the Ruler out of Anchorage, Alaska. Now we're going to El Paso, Texas. I've got two videos sent in by Caesar from El Paso. This one goes back to July 13th, just a couple of weeks ago. You're going to notice a disc or a saucer come in from the right, right there, moving through the sky, kind of tucks in behind the clouds at times. This is the original over here on the left. I zoom in on the right, and then we're going to zoom in even closer for a closer look at this object that's clearly not an airplane, it's not a helicopter, was not making a sound. Again, like the ones I just showed you guys, this is in broad daylight, something moving through the daylight sky. Look at that. Moving at a pretty good clip. It's hard to say how big it is, maybe 15, 20 feet in diameter. Silent, does not make a sound at all, and it doesn't appear to have any moving parts. It looks like a disc or a saucer just simply cruising through the sky. It doesn't look like a white cylinder. This thing here looks round to me. And we're going to zoom in even closer right now as it disappears behind the clouds. Now we go in for a closer look. And you guys will see this thing doesn't look like a cylinder. It looks like something round. Very quiet, not making a peep in broad daylight. You guys tell me what we're looking at here. I have no idea. I'm simply passing along to you what was shared with me. And I thought it was pretty good, you know, something visible like this in broad daylight. You don't see this every day. Excellent observation by Caesar out of El Paso, Texas. And he not only shared that video footage with me, but he also saw these off in the distance to what looked like stationary bright objects parked in the daytime sky. They could have been what we just saw moving through the sky, but these happen to be hovering. Have no idea. He doesn't know either. Just simply passing them along. What do you guys think they are? Here they are in a inverted format. Light is dark, dark is light. Two objects, unknown objects, in the El Paso, Texas sky, and this footage was from July of 2021. Yet another example of unknown objects in the daylight sky. Great job, guys. Keep the photos and videos coming. If you have any you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website, and sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.